one we were looking for. Dip it in that butter. Mmm. What is going on everybody? It is Connor Eilish here back at it with another YouTube video. We are out here in beautiful Miami, Florida today, my local waters. And um, if you guys stay tuned to my other social media platforms, I do a lot of Instagram and uh, YouTube shorts, but uh, and, and occasionally some TikToks in there. But um, a lot of people have been commenting on my Instagram videos. I've been doing some short videos of me catching these stone crabs out here. They've been commenting, hey Connor, I don't know what to look for. I don't know how to grab them. I don't really know the areas to find the stone crabs. Um, can you make a longer video and show us how to do that? And um, yeah, of course I can, why not? Um, so today we're going out here in Miami, Florida, like I said. I got a few spots that I know, general areas where stone crabs like to hang out, and that's where I'm gonna start today. Uh, I'll explain to you guys what I look for um, from the top of the water before I even hop in. And uh, I'll basically just walk you through exactly how I go out and catch stone crabs. So if you guys are looking for a video just like that, today is your, or this now is your chance. This is the video that you guys are gonna wanna watch. So uh, I'll see you guys at the first spot. It should be about a 10 to 15 minute run. And uh, yeah, hopefully the stone crabs are in there crawling around. So I'll see you guys in just a minute. All right, y'all, so we just made it to my first little spot or to what I think is gonna be my first little spot. I like to always switch it up and go somewhere new unless I'm really, haven't been out there in a while. Like if I haven't hit the spots that I know they're at in a few months, then new crabs probably came in there. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm looking at here right in front of me. This is exactly what I look for when I'm looking for these stone crabs. So check it out here, guys. You guys see, it goes grass, sand, grass, sand. What I'm looking for whenever I'm looking for these stone crabs is the grass to the sand. So basically just the switch um, on those lines. I literally swim across this whole line. And on that line, I am looking for holes in the sand. You guys will see exactly what I'm talking about when I hop in the water. But I'm looking for little holes in the sand just like you would for lobster. And uh, I'm basically, sometimes you'll see their claws poking out, sometimes you won't. But uh, you guys will see in just a minute when I hop in. But and right before I hop in the water, guys, I want to do a huge shout out to the D Vein Company for uh, gifting me these gloves. This is not the first pair they gave me, but you know, the last pair that I had, I wore for over, I want to say, a year, and I probably caught over a thousand lobsters with them. And finally, they started to break. So now we got these bad boys. Appreciate you guys for sending them over. We're gonna hop in right now and uh, try to find some stoners. I'll see you in the water. What's going on you guys? We are back underwater here and uh, I'm gonna walk you guys through this stone crab mission from uh, start to finish here. So uh, first thing when I hop in the water that I'm looking for is uh, obviously cracks and crevices, holes, ledges, anything like that. I'm gonna just stick my hand right in there as you guys saw on that one. So uh, <clears throat> you don't have to stick your hand in the holes. Obviously you can peek first and, and a lot of the times you will see their claws. But uh, I definitely catch a decent amount. I would say about 25% of them, the stone crabs, just by sticking my hand in their bare hand and not even seeing the claw. There's a baby lobster right there. But uh, yeah, guys, so I'm just searching this flat. Tons of life on this flat. It's uh, four, four feet deep here, so a lot of people can dive this. That's what makes it so fun. And I'm just searching around, just making my way through the flat. So uh, I'm going to play this out, and uh, then I'll start talking start uh, explaining it a little bit more so still looking in those same good types of holes right there it looks like a good one and I'm moving along here and right here I pause as you guys can see I kind of float up there and uh, I actually noticed the stone crabs claw there and uh, what I like to do is just make a quick approach back in there because they could move back very far and far enough to where your hand can't even get them your whole arm up in there and uh, Look at that. Just grab him by his claw and just work him out. It's When you grab him in there, they're really confused and uh, makes it for an easy grab. But an awesome one here. Good start. Billy, found what we were looking for. First owner, looks like he's got one keeper claw on him. Woo! So here I'm using my handy dandy tape measure. And uh, the state requires these guys to actually, their claws to be two and seven eighth inches long. And uh, I just make sure they're three inches just to be safe. And just, I just feel like you get a lot more meat. But uh, yeah, <clears throat> successfully took one claw off of him. I'm gonna let him go with his other.
actually wrangling one out of the hole here. And uh, as you guys can see, this one's this one's been caught before, and it actually looks like he's been caught real recent. Um, still doing absolutely just fine, living good. But uh, yeah, just goes to show you that these guys do live with no claws. So right here in this situation, just swimming on this line, notice a nice hole. I'm gonna go check it out. And as soon as I peek my head down there, see the claw, see him, and go right for the grab on him. And uh, like I said earlier in the video, they can go far, far back in their holes. So you gotta try to get them fast. And then as you guys can see, he's just left there with one claw. So I think I actually let this one go. Another fun situation here. Checking around these corners and these deep ledges. And uh, you can actually see this crab. As soon as I go for him, you see him push back up in there. But thankfully, I got a hold of him quickly. And he was fired up. Oh, <laughs> look at him. So fun catching these things, though. I absolutely have a blast down there. So, right here, same thing. Dive down. Locate where the crab's at. Try to grab them. Feel around. And uh, I just like to be super fast because, you know, you can always pull your hand out of them. They're not super quick with their pinchers, but at least from what I've noticed, you can. And that's a jumbo. So, right here, what I'm doing, this is actually another way to take the claws off. And watch right here. If you hit it right in the right spot, it pops his claw right off perfectly. And uh, that's just another way to get their claws off. Exploring for more. Found a nice, nice hole here. And uh, I knew it was going to hold one. Stuck my arm way up in there. Got a hold of him. Beautiful, beautiful stone crab. I mean, it is not getting much better than this. Just going down there and grabbing them one after another. Another stoner here coming up. Uh, same type of hole. And uh, as you guys can see, the dust coming out of there, that just shows to show you how deep these holes actually can be. Grab him by his claw, pull him out, same thing. And uh, this is a jumbo actually right here. This is a nice, massive claw on him. Check that out. Beautiful, beautiful stone crab. So right here, go down for another grab, and I just want to point something out. I'll show you guys in just a second looking in these holes checking for claws boom I spotted one went in there quick you guys know the drill and uh, I just want to point out when you actually pull them out right here when you pull them out of the hole they get super confused as you guys can see and you just want to play with them keep grabbing them and keep pushing them up because once they hit bottom it can be very very hard to find them So I actually had Billy, my buddy that was on the boat with me, hop in here and uh, take a quick video. Appreciate that, Bill, if you're watching this. But uh, it looks a lot different from uh, this angle here. As you guys can see, it is super, super shallow water. And uh, finagling them out there, grabbing them the same way. And uh, this guy only had one claw, but an awesome, awesome video here. I love the third-person shots. Super cool. Another one here, you can actually see this stone crab from outside the hole pretty well go in there and just try to be super quick with them if you don't grab them the first time just keep going back in and uh works out there beautiful another stone crab all right you guys so i just got out of the water now and uh, i did pretty good not gonna lie i've been in the water for about an hour and a half or two hours check out what i got a ton of nice claws here just enough for me for dinner tonight look at this stud but uh, yeah guys, a bunch of nice stone crab claws. We didn't even have to move spots. I stayed in the same spot the whole time and yeah, did pretty good as you guys can see. Um, I might hit one more spot, might not. But uh, yeah, besides that, that's a wrap on the water. We're gonna bring these suckers home and uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to prepare them and cook them because uh, 
there's a pretty popular way and that's how I've heard that's how you do it. There's only one really way and I'm gonna show you guys. So I'll see you guys at the house in just a minute. See ya. All right, y'all, we made it home. It's been a long day. Just got done washing the boat, cleaning out all the gear, all the wetsuits and everything. And uh, now it's time to finally get to cooking these stone crabs up. So uh, we got our stoners here in a bag. They've been on cold water the whole time in the boat. One thing I do want to mention is um, I haven't heard of no one ever putting these claws on ice because what happens is the meat will actually stick to the claw or to the shell. And uh, yeah, guys, I just like to keep them in nice cold water in a cool area and that'll be the best. But um, the first step, what you're gonna wanna do to cooking these stone crabs is you're gonna grab a boiling, or you're gonna grab a pot, a pot full of water, and uh, you're gonna get that up to a boil. Not to mention, you're definitely gonna wanna add some salt in that water, make it salty water. And uh, yeah, guys, just wait for it to boil. Once it's boiling, I'll show you the next step. It's pretty simple, you're just gonna throw the crabs in the boiling water and uh, let it sit for about 10 minutes. But uh, I'll see you when this water's boiling. All right, y'all, so the next step is once you got your stone crabs here next to your pot of boiling water with salt, don't forget, you gotta add salt in that boiling water. Um, you're just gonna go right in, put your stone crabs straight up in the boiling water. The water's gonna stop boiling for a second, but it's all good. Look at that jumbo. Him a little, a little Timmy Turner. So now we're gonna let that sit for about 10 minutes. It's gonna go back up to a roiling boil in just a second. But uh, once it starts boiling again, we're gonna let it sit for 10 minutes. And then after 10 minutes, I'll show you guys what to do next. So I'll see you guys in 10 minutes. All right, you guys. So we just took all of the stone crab claws out of the pot and uh, they went right into ice water. Just a big bucket of water with ice you want to make sure it's super cold so that all these claws get nice and cold after they come out of that boiling water it really helps a lot and uh yeah guys the next step is to start cracking them and enjoying them so uh i'm gonna bust a few open for you guys show you guys how i like to crack them open and uh that's it that'll be a wrap but uh, i'll see you guys yeah we're gonna get crack lacking see you guys in a minute when we uh start digging in all right y'all so the stone crab have been marinating in the ice as i like to call it I wait for them to get super, super cold, and then uh, I'm gonna grab one out here and uh, give it a trial. I've actually, I've already been digging into them a little bit. All right, so we have our stone crab claw here. As you guys can see, I've been digging into them a little bit. My, my kind of recipe here is just your basic stone crab, some butter, heat up that butter, of course, make sure it's nice. And then we got these guys right here, the toadfish claws. Um, they seem to work really well. But uh, all I'm gonna do is just come here, just give it a quick boom, just like so. And just check that out, guys. Meat comes out perfect. Next thing, dip it in that butter. Mmm. It don't get any better than that, guys. Fresh out the sea, you still taste the seawater. Mmm. And we got these tools by the same company. We dig out all the meat. Makes it nice. So yeah, guys, just so you guys know that I'm not lying, I'm gonna have my dad try it. A little claw as well. But man, this is some serious stuff right here. Mmm, gotta be my favorite crab besides, well, lobster's not really in the crab family, but definitely my favorite crab. Blue crab's up there too, but this stuff is Amazing guys definitely 10 out of 10. I would try it if uh, I've never tried it before I would go out there and uh, try to catch some but yeah guys I'm gonna see my dad try it and then that's gonna be a wrap See how it is Those toe -toe I, fall, I get I get stuck with the knuckles <laughs> Buddy got stuck with the little side. But these I mean, were good these these toadfish works good Yeah, man Look at him go You gotta give me an honest rating here now, dog. Honest rating. Mm. Wow. Fire? Scrumptious. Going in for more. Heck yeah, you guys. We would honestly eat this all up. We would eat all these stone crabs right here if we didn't have some fresh tacos cooking up. 
Um, we're gonna actually save these for the holidays and for later on this week. Just, uh, you know, they're good presents to give out to the fam. Not only that, but uh, they're good little treats to have during the day, in my opinion. So uh, yeah, guys, that's gonna be a wrap on today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We went out there, it's pretty windy, pretty cold, but uh, we got the job done. We caught the stone crabs that we were looking for. I showed you guys from literally how to find the stone crab from the top of the water to how to go out and go in and navigate and uh, grab them with your hand. So it was a pretty in-depth video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys liked it. Make sure you guys like, comment down below. Let me know how you guys like this video and what you guys want to see next. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get out of here. That's a wrap. How's that food? He's still, still, still going. Still going at it. Still going. So yeah, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Till then, peace.